And this is one of the very big messages that we need to get out to business, industry, and small and medium-sized companies in the UK and in Australia. That there's a whole new world of economic activity there which, where they can join together. Where they're not necessarily competitors, where they can be uh, joint venture partners and collaborators. The world's first innovation chapter in this deal that looks to uh, these future challenges by establishing something called a strategic innovation dialogue, providing a platform for businesses like yours to be heard on how the UK and Australia can align on the industries and get the tech, get all the tech aligned. And this will enable a greater flow of talent and expertise because again, we're talking about services and people, the movement of services and people as much as, as goods. The strategic innovation dialogue is an area that we can use to exchange best practice, to uh, exchange ideas on good governance, on safety, for use of new technologies, but importantly also bringing business and industry, not just a government to government conversation, bringing in our universities, bringing in industry and business to have an all encompassing discussion about where we can move forward together. For Australia, it's the first time our free trade agreement has a dedicated provision on climate change. And that's really recognising the importance of climate change and the challenge of coming up with reaction solutions to climate change and the energy transition for both our countries. And so I, I see the real opportunity in the agreement as the ability for Australia and the United Kingdom to work together on low emissions technologies and coming up with some of those solutions to address the energy transition. Regarding one other provision that I know is probably quite near and dear to your heart, and that's with regards to trade and gender equality. And it recognises the importance of advancing gender equality and women's economic empowerment with the, both parties are agreeing to establish a dialogue on trade and gender equality and then committing to some um, cooperative activities. Those businesses that trade often pay more, they have greater resilience, greater longevity, greater stability. And so if we can better enable women entrepreneurs in both our countries to participate in trade, then that is a very good uh, marker of progress. We have learnt more through this series, the FTA is set to further enhance the already strong relationship between the UK and Australia and has a, at its core the purpose of opening up new commercial opportunities. And ABBA completely aligned with these objectives. We are in the business of supporting individuals and businesses to achieve greater commercial success and as a pillar of the business community in Australia and also here in London, this series was something that NAB deemed extremely valuable and has been very proud to endorse. A uh, simple analogy that I've been using uh, for the last couple of events is this. The Australian and the UK Free Trade Agreement teams got together and they built one of the most advanced, climate-friendly, right-hand drive vehicles for our use. And we've now got to ensure that everyone understands not only all the fantastic features and benefits, but jumps in that vehicle and drives it and understands exactly what it can deliver.